with a Ness player? You're ridiculous. Okay, so Zyro is gonna be sandbagging. He's gonna be pulling out the Link versus Warus. And we do have a resident Link main here, Matt. So, Warus definitely has that Link experience. Ooh, Link. I think it was double fair into dash attack. Getting that damage rack up. No techs are gonna be punished by this dash attack. Okay, well, Zyro gets his own dash attack in. It's uh, definitely not enough to kill at this percentage yet, though. He has to watch out for that tether grab. If he whips it, it's a huge punish. War is almost getting his shield broken there. I, if that second hit of uh, Link's downer would have hit, I'm not sure. Oh, and he interrupts the F smash. So it's... I'd say it's a pretty even game, just because Link hits so hard. And an up smash or even an up smash at this point would take Walrus' stock, because Zyro does have rage. Ooh, and he tries to get that down smash. He tries to get that dash attack, but he's gonna... The whiff dash attack gets punished by a dash attack. It wasn't enough to take the stock, Zyro's gonna get back on stage. Okay, that. Still not enough to take it. Possibly stale. Oh, but Walrus does interrupt uh, Zyro's recovery with a Nair. Playing a uh, hot potato with that bomb. Like that. Zyro gets the grab. He does not go for a down throw, though. Possibly down throw to up air would not have connected. Jigglypuff could be at too high of a percentage now. <gasps> War is just escaping that up smash by the tip of his little hat. <laughs> just he's getting this he's getting this extra damage in before he loses his stock. And he's holding on to his stock very well. Whew. Another another very close encounter. He's not gonna escape that up air. Zyro with the 60 damage on him. He can easily bring this back if he starts spacing out with his projectiles. Possibly if he starts overwhelming Walrus. But Walrus seems very calm and in control of the match. He sees his projectiles and he's not worrying about them. Oh, that, that F match is not going to get punished. He gets that immediate jab after. Comes up with a fear. Zaro is going to be landing. It's not going to take the stock. Oh my god. Almost did though. But that rest punished by a, a fully not a fully charged that smash. But just like that, this this match has basically been evened out. Warus is that kill percentage. So he knows how he's gonna end the stock here. He might just go for another near here. Not if he goes for triple fair, but need, none of them land. That's the up smash, and that's actually gonna take the stock. Zyro switching over to Cloud now. Which he... Oh, I don't know. Zyro plays a lot of characters. He used to main the whole roster before Corrin came out because he couldn't make his mind up. So let's see how Cloud is how his Cloud is going to fare. This matchup, of course, he is fighting Jigglypuff and Cloud is... is one of the most gimpable characters in the roster, next to Little Mac. He does that have that limit, so that offstage threat is no longer there. And you can very easily end this stock. He gets a, a good read. And he gets a little more percentage on Warus. This is... Warus is barely escaping that limit cross slash. So now Zyro has his limit burned. If Warus can get him off stage. 
It could be the, the end of the stock. A dash attack on him. He's gonna dash attack again. Zaro is barely gonna make it back. Drifts back to the ledge after his recovery. No tech, and that's gonna be Zaro's first stock. I. It could be possible that Cloud was in that untechable uh, situation with his up B recovery. If you ha guys haven't seen it, there's a video from BP Smash Dudes uh, showing how, in certain frames of Cloud's up B, before he reaches the peak, he, if he gets hit into a stage spike, he will not be able to check it, no matter what. Uh, but uh, Tyro does get take Wash's first stock with a dash attack. And uh, he has 50 damage on him, but he's, he did get some damage in. Wars is keeping him off stage with these dash attacks. But Zyro is not going to have to burn his limit quite yet. There's the limit. He's going to electric grab. Nope, he gets back on ledge. Gets that extra damage from cross slash. Hit by forwarder? Yeah. Wire well, is fishing for the back here now. Ooh, dash attack is not going to be punished. Just jumping around each other. Zyro... Uh, Zyro knows the threat. The threat of being off stage, so he wants to stay away from Waris. Waris is just rushing in and he gets that meaty back here, but he's not going to take the stock. Oh, and that should be it! It's going to be it. Waris gets him with the... The Nair pushes him away from the edge just enough so that Zara will not recover. And now uh, Zara switching again to Sonic. Zara doesn't have a Sonic though. <laughs> I think Zyro's gonna have... Oh, Zyro, he finally going his main. So we're gonna be going to Smashville. Finally going to BC Battle of the Mains. Zyro just maybe short hops. Walrus getting that, that jab damage, but Zyro's gonna bring it right back with uh, pin kicks. And... Is looking very small. Zyro throwing out these backers, but none of them hit Waris. No punish on the dash attack. He doesn't he doesn't get the pin, but he does get the kick. And he is slowly building up that damp that percentage lead on Waris. <laughs> Not quite. Why gonna take it? Wars just okay. He just can't find an answer. This is like, Zyro is just facing him out so well. You know, Corrin has all this range on Jigglypuff. He doesn't get Tipper pin there. So I'm gonna take the stock. But that should be it. Yep. And this is looking like a very dominant match with Zyro. Boris does not get the follow up there on the platform. That could have been a chance to take Zyro's stock before he got any damage on him. But now Zyro is just racking up this damage. He's staying on top of Warris, not giving him any room to breathe. He doesn't get him with the neutral beat. Warris is back on stage, gets that back air. Nair, yeah. Oh, Magnet Hand saves Zyro. Uh, Juarez gets the last hit of pound right there. He's looking for either a back air or a dash attack at this point. Hopefully it'll take the stock before he gets any more damage in. But Corrin is, is a pretty heavy character. And Zyro just waiting for those air dodges. He's not letting up on Juarez. Juarez gets in rollout animation. Oh my god. That should be it. <gasps> no, Wars is living by the tip of his little hat. He's gonna make it back on stage. He's at 100%. Zaro is at 129. His first stock, if he gets Tipper Pin, and that's gonna be it.
Zyro taking it.